This isn't your regular dress shopping. Shopping for your wedding dress can bring out some huge expectations, so Jackie Boyer at Victoria Lane Brides has some tips. Definitely know your price point um, and stay within it. There's nothing worse than trying on a dress that is way out of your budget and falling in love with it. You should look at some basic styles that you do like, um, but you shouldn't pigeonhole yourself into an area of just only one style. You should be open to what the consultant is willing to show you. Be willing to play around and have fun with it because you might surprise yourself and find something that's really fantastic that you would never have thought. So what's the biggest trend for 2012? Lace, by far. Um, I'm not sure if it has to do with the royal wedding, but once that royal wedding was out, um, we went to the show to see all the new dresses and everybody had a bunch of lace dresses. And along with the lace is a retro vintage look when it comes to headpieces. We're getting um, into a lot more of a retro kind of feel, a lot of fascinators. People are getting a lot more playful. It's not just the plain tiara or sparkly band with a, with a veil, which is beautiful, but people are having a lot more fun. Strapless dresses are still the most popular cuts when it comes to the top half of the dress. However, you can expect to see more fitted cuts when it comes to the bottom, as mermaid and A-line cuts are proving to be the go-to style in 2012. Tight at the waist and kind of sh shimmering off your hips but not actually hugging your hips. And when it comes to the length, shorter is becoming more common. They are really popular and they really give, they give a really great theme to your wedding. Basically, if you're wearing a T-length dress, you're going to you want to have a good time. You're going to dance. You're going to have fun. You're going to wear that dress all night. Um, great for destination weddings. And they seem to be really great for all ages. Color trends aren't seeing much change as white, diamond white, and ivory are still the most popular. However, a touch of color doesn't hurt. We seem to see a lot more uh, tone on tone, so like a, a brown on an ivory as opposed to maybe like a red on an ivory. Um, so it seems to be a little bit more subtle. There is color, but it's more just like different shades of the same kind of color palette. So many dresses, so little time. So whatever you decide, remember, this is your wedding day. Wear whatever makes you comfortable and feels like you. And have fun shopping for your wedding dress. For Shaw TV, I'm Tasha Chu.